The senior pastor of St. Sabina returns. Yesterday was great. Um, first of all, I was nervous because I said I haven't celebrated Mass here in five months. But as soon as I walked out that door over there and the people just started clapping and people just started shouting and, and, and you know, it's, I felt at home. After five months away, while the Archdiocese of Chicago investigated allegations of misconduct decades ago, Father Michael Flager celebrated his first Mass yesterday, now cleared of those accusations. To do what God desires most, and that's to worship Him. I work to say, I'm going to forgive. Um, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to pray for them and for all the others that were taken to light in this. Flager says he struggled with isolation, depression, even suicidal thoughts, sharing his most vulnerable moments as part of what he says is transparency to help others. Yeah, I'm depressed. Yeah, I'm angry. Yeah, I feel abandoned. Yeah, I feel alone. I wonder if life is worth living anymore. I wonder all these things. And then process it, talk about it, vent it. Never let temporary situations determine eternal thinking about you and your life. The Catholic priest who was appointed to the Auburn Gresham Paris in 1981 acknowledges he was even mad at God for a time. When he was advised to not comment publicly during the investigation, he says he was overwhelmed by letters of support. He leaned on his trusted friends and advisors. He journaled, listened to Dr. King's sermons, and he had his nine-year-old Cocker Spaniel named Justice by his side. I don't regret anything. I'm not going to live my life differently than who I believe I am because of the vulnerability that it creates or the opportunity for someone to take advantage of that. Flager says even though his outspokenness has made him the target of criticism, hate, even assault, he is fully focused on what's ahead, like getting the hesitant vaccinated and ending the violence that has been claiming so many young people's lives.